Welcome back to Movie Masters and today we are talking about lighting. So if one of you commented about what is your lighting setup. So I'm going to show you my room. As you could probably tell from my previous videos, uh, I took a couple of times to get everything right. I've actually been moving in different places so my location is constantly changing but I think I've slowly got down like how, how I like my setup. So right behind me here, I've got two lights to give a bit of color. And then over here in the corner, I have my key light. Um, now this light here is featured in one of my other videos. It is the Amaron 60D, I believe it's called. And look, it's a really bright light right now. Actually, I am um, I'm getting an eye full of sun. I should actually have a soft box on it. But I currently don't have a soft box. So look, I'm going to invest in one of those, but I am moving around a lot at the moment. Anyway, so mm, hello. This is a Camolo. I'm not actually sure how it's pronounced. Um, now these I got off Amazon and look, I love these things. They come with little stands oh, that you can put on one end so you can sit them like you see here. Um, but also they have magnets on the ends, so you can actually stick them to anything that's metal. Um, here we go. Well, you can't see this in this camera, but on the camera behind us. And yeah, so look, these are really handy. They can change colors, you can change the brightness, they're rechargeable, um, they're cheap, and they're magnetic. So I would highly recommend if you are doing film, these will come in handy in so many different ways, whether it be like music videos, vlogs, vlogs, this kind of stuff, tutorials, how to's, they're gonna come in handy. So buy some lighting. That was something that a friend of mine, Ruben, and shout out to Ruben, um, <laughs> he really got me on to why lighting is so important. And it really is. I've always, in my filmmaking, been trying to use natural lighting. I'm really inspired by Stanley Kubrick. Not that he used natural lighting all the time, but look, one movie, uh, and it's a Grace Kate study, if you are wanting to become a filmmaker, is Barry Lyndon. Now, it's a three-hour epic period film. Um, look, I, I can't even begin to go into what that's about, but um, it's about war, love, betrayal, um, phew, all that kind of stuff. Um, and look, it's by Kubrick, you must watch it. Um, when he made that film, um, he, NASA actually lent him a lens because he worked closely with them in the making of 2001 A Space Odyssey that had a very, very, very low aperture. I think it was 0.95. Even to this day, we struggled to find lenses with such a low aperture. And so they lent him this lens and he used only natural lighting or candlelight or candlelight for the filming of Barry Lyndon. Anyway, I'm no Kubrick, but <laughs> look, we can all hope. So as yeah, as you can see, um, this is my lighting setup. I think it's a pretty good one. So I've got some, this is creating some, you know, background flare, some color, some tone, and then on me is my main K light. Anyway, look, if this has been helpful, please like and subscribe. I like to make videos. And you know, if you do want to see a video on something else, I'll tell you about my setup. So the main camera that we're shooting on right now is the Sony FX30. I've got an Atomos Ninja V connected to it, which I am staring into right now. So I can see that I'm in focus. And one mistake I made on my other videos was using, well, manual lenses while trying to film myself. Now, this is great if you have someone else behind the camera and they can focus the lens for you, but when you're having to like sit there, focus on something that you're not actually sitting on, it can be a little difficult. So I've decided to switch to the, I'm using a 35 millimeter to film this right now, the Sony F1.8 35. It is a really nice lens, really clear as you can see, and it stays in focus on me, which I like. So, yep, and to record the audio, um, you've probably seen in one of my other videos, I am using the Rode Wireless Go 2. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. This is my lighting setup and we'll see you next time.